Welcome to KP Classes. In today's video, we will be discussing about CSIR Net at Science paper, a complete analysis on the exam pattern, cutoff marks, PYQ questions and the syllabus of Net CSIR exam. So here, we will be discussing only on the at Science paper where the subjects like at Science, Ocean Science, Atmospheric Science and Planetary Science questions will be asked. Let us move on to the first topic that is the exam pattern. When it comes to the net CSIR at science paper, there are three parts of question is there, part A, part B and part C. Part A is st strictly for the aptitude section, part B and part C are for the subject earth science, atmospheric science, planetary science and uh, ocean science questions will be asked in these two sections. Now when you look into the part A, there are total, qu total 20 questions will be given. 20 questions will be provided and out of these 20 questions maximum number of questions that you can attempt is only 15 maximum number of questions that you can attempt will be 15 and the each question carries a mark of 2 hence total mark of this section will be 30 30 part a is of 30 marks and uh, there is a negative marking uh, for 2 marks question in part A, there will be a negative marking of 0 0.5. That means 25 percentage negative marks uh, will be there, ne negative marking will be there. When it comes to part B, part B is comparatively easier section. Uh, there is a total question of uh, 50 over here. 50 questions are there. And out of this uh, total 50 questions, the maximum number of attempt that you can make is 35. And this part B section is also a 2 mark section. Hence, the total mark over here will be 70. 70. Part C is a analytical section, a tougher portion. Over here in part C, there are total 80 questions will be provided. And out of this 80, the, you, the maximum number of attempt that can be made is uh, uh, 25. And importance of part C is that uh, part C questions are actually of 4 mark, hence the total mark of part C is 100. So we can say altogether in the exam question paper there will be 150 questions and out of this 150 questions the maximum number of attempt that can be that we can make is 75 and the total mark is 200 out 200 now how much you need to concentrate we don't need to uh, aim for 200 out of 200 for net CSAR examination what you need to aim is part a you try to solve maximum questions that you can that means consider you are you are able to score uh, you you are able to solve 10 marks then uh, in part B, consider uh, you are uh, solving uh, uh, 30 questions which is because it is a much more easier section and, and from part C you can uh, solve a maximum of let us say you are only solving 10 questions. So in part A you have uh, scored a mark of 2 mark section 20. Here again you have scored a mark of 60 and from here you will be scoring something of 40. So altogether you have scored something that is 120. This should be your minimum aim. If you are scoring something less than 120, that it will not be enough to get into the net JRF or lectureship. Uh, category or you won't be qualifying for JRF here lectureship if you will be getting a score of something less than 120 if you are an unreserved category person when you will discuss the cutoff mark then you will then this section will be cleared out so what you have to aim for you have to aim for something more than this out of part A like there are 15 questions are there minimum you have to solve 
10 question in part b there are 35 questions are is the maximum attempt you have to score something of 30 in part c let's if if i make it 15 maximum 15 questions you are scoring then this mark a sing a symbol uh, it will be 15 uh, 60 marks will be there so this will be out of 200 you will be able to score 140 marks this is the maximum you have to aim for a score between 120 to 140 this is how you have to prepare for net CSAR examination so on the further sections we will be justifying how can you solve how, can, how will you be able to target on these scores from each part and what are the topics that you have to stress on and why between 120 to 140 is what we are going to discuss. So this is all about the exam pattern, three, three type of uh, sections, the maximum number of questions provided, maximum attempts that you can make, the total marks of each section and how much you should aim for uh, getting a good score or uh, qualification of J J JRF how much you, you have to aim for move on to the next topic that is the cut off mark so this is the cut off mark of 2023 so you can see the earth science at earth atmospheric ocean and planetary science row over here so for unreserved category uh, JRF fellowship will be only awarded to those who have a score of 58.88 that is almost uh, 118 marks out of 200 this is the minimum that you should have for getting a uh, JRF fellowship mm, much not much lesser 52.99 is required for a lectureship a assistant professor net qualification now I have uh, underwent like I have discussed the uh, made a chart regarding the last few years uh, cut off marks for each category so in whichever category you belong to you can look at the particular section and understand the cut off mark and its variation you all look over here in 2020 cut off mark for unreserved category was 59.86 whereas it has increased to 60.86 60.29 and now in 2023 december paper it was it is 58. 88. So, this variation in the cutoff mark depends upon many factors. Major one is how tough is your question paper. If your question paper is very tough, obviously the cutoff mark will be comparatively lower. If the question paper is easy, the cutoff will be higher. Then the other one is the amount of money that the uh, in the budget uh, the uh, has been kept aside for the research in the, this particular subject. So, for the earth science, if they have kept an enough amount of money, more amount of researchers can be uh, taken into the laboratories. So, in 2023, that is one of the reasons why the cutoff is comparatively lower. So, usually, average cutoff for an unreserved category for JRF fellowship is 60.8660. So, uh, we can say it is almost 60 percentage. And for out of 200 mark, you have to. Uh, score something that is more than more than 120 is mandatory to get a JRF fellowship right more than 120 you have to score that is why I wrote an order uh, like this particular over here if you want to uh, get into the if you want to get the JRF fellowship you have to aim for something that is more than 120 and 140 is, will be much higher uh, yeah, if you have uh, uh, if you have scored somewhere near 140 you will be having a rank below 10 yeah 15 and that is very good so that you will be getting the whatever research laboratories that you wish and there are scholarships that will also be provided to you so over here uh, I have made the table regarding the last few years cutoff marks so you can take a screenshot or uh, you can look into the variations depending upon the category that you have interested in and the cutoffs that you have to aim for move on to the syllabus of net csar paper net examination is a com combination of 
four five different subjects if i divide it i can say there is geology geophysics oceanography part meteorological part planetary science subjects etc so you have to it, it's not possible for us to complete the entire subjects all these five subjects in the coming three four months for attempting the june examination so what we do we'll be doing a smart work so i'm going to explain how we'll be dividing the syllabus and how will be will be uh, how you have to study to get to complete the enough amount of topics so that you will be able to score more than 120 out of 200 so that's our aim more than 120 out of 200 so the part a is general aptitude it consists of reasoning quantitative aptitude data interpretation graphical analysis uh, analysis etc uh, you have to be very thorough with the general aptitude section because out of the 15 attempts 10 should be correct right if you are uh, uh, in the general aptitude in the part a section there are all together 20 questions are there and out of that 20 you can only attempt 15 questions and in out of this 15 question there should be 10 correct answers because other that's why i have wrote the 140 score over there if you are having a uh, uh, attempted questions of 140 mark then with the negative marking and all you will come into a range of like you will have something greater than 120 for sure okay so here in the part a out of 20 questions you have to attempt 15 and out of 15 10 questions should be minimum completely correct now when you come when you go to the part b section where uh, it's a two mark question section and it's comparatively much much more easier than part c so there the questions will be from earth and solar system earth material surface feature processes interior of earth so all these are basics of geology uh, ocean science planetary science and uh, atmospheric science will be asking over here if we are thorough with the topics that you have topics that are required for part c you will be able to solve part b also so you don't need to prepare separately this part c part is more than enough now let's see about the part c this is the entire geology section uh, so if you are a geology aspirant if we have to study this entire section completely thorough all these topics should be cleared uh, why because in part see out of total 80 questions that we uh, that they uh, provide how much do we have to at maximum number of attempt is 25 is the maximum number of attempt and out of this 25 you should have a 15 positives should be there 15 questions should be correct so if the fifth out of this 15 questions if a geology student you are thorough with the geology paper geology is completely thorough then out of this 15 you can attempt 10 questions can be taken from geology only rest five questions only you have you can go you have to attempt from the other subjects if you are an oceanography ocean oceanic science uh, uh, masters student you don't need to concentrate on other subjects maximum questions you take from ocean sciences and then look on to the other topics right so these are this is how you should be concentrating on the syllabus part so if you if you are a geology student you won't be able to complete the meteorology or oceanographic part completely right so what we do we'll be going through the important subjects you finish those which are more than enough to get uh, so that you will be able to solve five questions so over here in part C there will be uh, 10 to uh, 15 questions of uh, 10 to 12 numerical questions will be there numerical questions so if you are good in numericals if you are good in re remembering equations you can score from these numerical questions also and these numericals are usually from geophysics subjects so if you are in thorough with geophysics that subject also you can revise enough to get a 15 uh, correct answers from part c so syllabus explanation is this general aptitude part a uh, the basics of the subjects in part b 
and part c is much more analytical and conceptual you have you should have a very detailed subject knowledge and current uh, data of the subjects current study of the subjects should also be uh, like you should be well known about the current research is going on the particular subject to score this mark over there okay move on to the next one that is the previous year question analysis why do we have to analyze the previous year question because as i have mentioned over here how do i know that in the part c in this 80 questions how many geology questions are there or how many other geophysics questions are there how many meteorology ocean science or planetary science questions will be there that you will be understanding once you do the previous year question analyzation so while analyzing the previous year question what i understood is that there is almost equal number of questions will be asked from geology if the out of 80 if there are there will be a minimum of 20 questions will be there in geology that's what i have found over here by analyzing the few previous year questions so this analyzation is done for part b and where i have found that this blue color lines are for geology green for geophysics and the pink one is for the rest of the subjects you can see an average about this is uh, the 2020 june uh, uh, paper in 2021 june much more higher geology paper is there so all around there will be any any which ways there will be more than 15 questions will be there from geology for sure right and say in oceanography questions will also be uh, almost the same so if you are a geology aspirant there is enough questions from your subject to concentrate on you don't need to completely uh, stop studying geology and uh, grab the oceanography if you are if you have knowledge about oceanography you have planetary science sections or you are good in geophysics you are good in uh, uh, climatology section then it's very good then it's very fine you can revise every topic you can study all the subjects you will be getting a much higher score but if you are a beginner you have no idea about oceanography but you are good in geology so you can concentrate more on geology to qualify the net examination that's what i discuss over here so i hope the uh, discussion that we have done over here is uh, uh, helpful for all the net JRF uh, lectureship aspirants. We have discussed about the exam pattern, the number questions they uh, ask, uh, the sub syllabus that you have to go through, cutoff marks, how important is concentrating, how important is the score that you have to get in from each section. So we have discussed everything. We here in KP classes, we are also running uh, net JRF lectureship at science batches are going on. Uh, it is, there will be a new batch starting in the coming few weeks, coming few days, there will be a new batch starting. So if you are interested in joining our batch, you uh, will be, so you understood how uh, important is geology or you should have a minimum understanding of oceanography also, planetary science also, uh, meteorology uh, or uh, uh, the uh, atmospheric science part right so for that if you want to join our coaching institute you can call us in the number given below you can uh, whatsapp us over there or you can follow us our youtube channel your facebook instagram telegram channels for more uh, questions that we uh, put over there quizzes or uh, knowledge related geology related posts that we put over there will be also helpful helpful for your competitive exams so i hope uh, the entire section was clear for you all uh, the net csar paper uh, at science net csar at science paper is comparatively clear uh, exam pattern and how the questions will be coming etc so uh, let's wind up over here we'll meet with another uh, with another video will be coming uh, my name is rukuraju uh, thank you